I am live. Hi guys, welcome to day nine of 12 days of Christmas crafts. Um, today I will be making the Half Daisy and Christmas lights greeting card. Oh, I did not know that was there. <laughs> um, hello, hello everyone. Um, so this card is made with 65 pound cardstock. Use the cardstock of your choice. Um, I also have made a few changes uh, in the sense that I basically separated the petals. If you have my template, uh, you know that this comes as like a, a layer. Um, the flower that it comes like this, right? Um, the flower that I'm going to make today is going to be a rainbow flower. So in order to do that, I separated in design space all of the petals using the slice tool. It's pretty easy, but if you guys want a tutorial, let me know and I'll make one for you. Um, so yeah, that's why you will see that my petals are like this. They're separated. Um, and if you're crafting along, you might be confused. <laughs> so that is why. Um, so I have pre-cut all my pieces using this, our, um, well, yeah, design space, but then my Cricut machine. And as you can see, I have prepped basically um, most of my elements, um, but these are basically just the steps that will be repetitive. So, um, so that we can focus on actually putting together and assembling the card. Um, here I have the center, which we might need to do a bit of a prepping for. Uh, this is the base that I created again for this rainbow uh, design. And then here are the petals and light bulb. So I will show you guys how to assemble the light bulb and what I do to shape the petals. And then eliminated, I have eliminated the repetitive steps. Um, I've also printed out, of course, the card itself and all of these like accent pieces. Um, as far as tools, I'm going to be using um, the wooden dowel, which there it is. I'm going to be using my wooden dowel. I'm going to be using a ink pen, but it's this is, I guess, optional if you want to have like... Um, writing any lettering on on here um this is also optional i mean i also use my ink pen to draw like the string for the lights you don't have to it depends um but i'm gonna go ahead and do that so i have my ink pen in here um and then if you since some of these pieces are small um if you want to use tweezers uh, you can also do that um i'm gonna use my um what am I gonna use? Oh yeah, the foam mat and ball stylus. And I also have my, uh, you know, my a pencil, eraser and ruler um, just to line up everything when it comes to like the lettering because I like to do that myself. Um, of course, you can just cut off the letters as well. Use stickers or not use letters at all. Uh, finally, I'm also gonna use my scoring pen just to add some details to the petals okay all right let's get started i'm going to shape the petals first it's very easy um all i'm going to do is add some lines as the daisy petals do have a bit of a texture um, and then i'm going to use my wooden dowel and wrap the petal around it like so and maybe rotate the wooden dowel a bit to make it nice and smooth and this is going to give the petals a 3d shape and that's it that's all i'm going to do with the petals now to assemble the little mini light bulb which are so cute by the way <laughs> aren't they adorable um if you're using my template, it has this like perforated line, just like the bigger version. Um, and that is awesome because it just helps with folding and it folds right in the middle. So you don't have to worry about any pieces being like misaligned. 
Now, but there's gonna be two different types of foldings that we're going to do. The first one, we're going to simply like bend the, I almost said petals, bend the light bulb shape, just slightly bend it like so, okay? And then the other shape, we're going to fold it all the way. Okay, and you can even, you could even go over it with your like your wooden dowel to make that crease really tight. So this one that we slightly bend is gonna be our second layer or middle layer. This is the bottom layer, we don't fold this one at all. Middle layer, we slightly bent it. And then top layer or third layer is going to be the one that we folded all the way where we created a nice crease, okay? So I'm going to use, of course, my Beardly Art Precision Craft Glue. Oh. Um, my new tips just came in, so I'm super excited. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna apply a, again, I'm gonna use a perforated line as a guide to apply a thin line of glue. Then I'm going to take my second piece the one, again, that we slightly bent. And uh, I'm going to just place it on top, but basically I want only the middle part, the perforated section to be glued down. So again, this is the part where if you want to, you can use um, tweezers. I tend to not use tweezers. And then sometimes I do use them, but, so I like to have them next to me, but I almost always like to just use my hands. But anyway, I also have long, a bit like longer nails, so that helps to manipulate the smaller pieces. Um, so anyway, here, so here's the first part. Now, if you're doing this craft with little kids, this is very kid friendly. Um, so. I mean, you have options. You could either just do one layer, right? We do one uh, light bulb shape, and then you put it together with the cap. There we go. And that could be your light bulb. You would put this on top, and that is your light bulb. Um, or you could also use two layers, and that creates a little bit of a dimension, and then you would put your cap which is like the, this metallic little piece. And then that's your light bulb. So your light bulbs could look like that. Or if you want to take it, you know, one step further with these 3D shapes, then go ahead and put your last piece in. So again, I'm applying glue right at that ridge, you know, the perforated line basically where we folded it. Um, and then I'm going to place it right in the center as I did with the other layer, carefully making sure that it is as centered as possible. And I'm going to bring this a bit closer to me so that I can center it right. There we go. And now um, I'm going to press down gently and sort of hold this in for a bit, allow the glue to dry, as I'm making sure that the space between all of the different layers is, you know, as evenly, or as even as possible. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. Now I'm going to attach the cap. And 
right set. And here we go. I need to take another sip of my water. Okay. So now I'm going to assemble the flower and I'm gonna try to not talk as much just because as you guys know, some of you know that I'm still like a little bit sick. That's why I had to postpone last night's. <laughs> so, um, but you know, I come in here and I get carried away. Anyways, I'm gonna add the petals now and I will be using hot glue. Okay. Actually, I could also use, you know what? I'm just gonna continue using my uh, craft glue. So. too close to each other. I think I need to move them down a bit more. So I needed to redo this uh, layer <coughs> because the petals were a bit too um, too close to each other. So I just gently pulled. Okay, let's see. Okay, it didn't make a, that big of a difference, but. Continue with the second layer, which I guess I could have totally used more uh, petals or I could have done this, I could have made the center a bit smaller, um, but I think it's going to turn out pretty.
There we go. We have our hat daisy. Hi, Diana. Here's our half daisy. <clears throat> uh, and I think it's really pretty. What do you guys think? I see your hearts. Thank you, yay. And now, you see my center is um, composed of three different scalloped circle shapes. I could definitely layer all three of them. Um, I am gonna give them a bit of a uh, dimension um, so that's gonna make them slightly smaller uh, let's see where's my ball stylus here we go so using my ball stylus and foam mat I'm gonna just mostly focusing on the edges you could also use your, your bone folder or your wooden dowel I'm using gold foil cardstock, so it's so this part here can very easily be um, not damaged, but you know it can create creases very easily. So if you're using gold foil cardstock like I am, uh, you might find that using a bone folder is easier. Basically, just want to give some dimension to the scalloped edges. And yeah, depending on how you're making your flower, you might want to use one center, two centers, or three, all three. All three. I'm gonna go for it. First, I'm going to stack them. Again, just apply some glue. The biggest goes in the bottom, and the smallest on top. Just like so. And then we're going to glue the whole thing onto the flower. I might actually just put some right there and then put it up here. Christmas is the mood for sure. Alright, so. But rainbow Christmas, of course. And you center this, basically. And we have our half flower. Now let's set this aside and the lights as well. And let's uh, grab our card. So I'm going to, well, I guess first I'll fold the card. There is a scoring line right here in the middle. And you will notice if you're using my template um, you'll notice some other mar marks on the paper and I'll go over what they are but basically what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to as I'm folding this I'm trying to make sure that also these corners are you know as even as possible and of course having that scoring line helps it sort of folds on itself, but I still like to make sure that I start my fold from the outside in. And then also, in addition to using my hands, I like to use my bone folder or wooden dowel or like a marker. Anything to like help you create that nice sharp crease there and now the other markings that I was talking about are these like little cut lines on the corners and those are our guidelines for this piece okay so it's gonna go sort of 
on top of each one just to make sure that uh, this part is centered again a little bit of glue making sure we have the sides Now, depending on how you want to make the card, you can either only have, you know, this, this liner, uh, this layer here, or you can have it in the back and on the insides. Because of the color that I chose and the style that I like my cards to be in, I like to add one on each side. Uh, but this part is optional. So I really try to focus on the on the corners because you don't want any like flipped corners and then of course in the center as well. Okay. Now, again, I will add these two, but I'll do that off camera just to avoid any repetitive steps. And, you know, I don't want to be coughing on you guys more than I need to. Um, so next step is, what is the next step? Oh, well, now we're going to bring in our elements. So we have this beautiful rainbow flower, which honestly, I feel like I might skip the maybe a little something here i could do like merry and bright or like merry christmas or i don't know holly jolly something so maybe i'll do it here and here i've never done that before but basically you, you want to design now your, your your card however you want it to look like and uh so in my last design i use bring it back um, I used to cut to just that seven or seven flowers, seven light bulbs. And I'm, I'm not gluing, as you can see, I'm not gluing anything here. I'm just gonna layer or place rather the elements onto my card just to see what they will look like and how I can, you know. Uh, let me plug in my computer a bit. So the shape that I'm trying to create is, you know, I'm trying to fill in basically the other half of the flower. Um, let's see. And as you can see, I'm trying to match like the colors or mirror, you know, the colors of the flower and the order as well. So this could be one way um, that you could arrange. So I ended up using to cut the just did eight course because this flower ended up being um, bigger because it has a bigger base and I made those modifications that I mentioned in the beginning um, but yeah I think it looks pretty and now I'm going to basically 
just decide, am I gonna do the writing or not? Um, let's see, I think, I think I should do the writing, merry and bright. Um, what do you guys think? Lettering or no lettering? I think I'm gonna do the lettering. So while I still have my design here, um, I'm going to make some marks or like basically decide where I'm gonna write. Bright is gonna be here. Keep it about the same, but almost an inch. I like to eyeball things typically, but close enough. All right, now I can sort of remove the elements. Should I remove the elements? Yeah, I think I have to. I have to write merry and bright. Do so very lightly, I like to do a pencil run through first, um, and then I'm using my micron five. decide in the end where I'm going to put the end. Now I just realized that this adds a bit more time to our live. Um, let you know good things take time. Obviously, it goes without saying that you can skip all of this if you don't want to do your own lettering. You can cut out your own lettering um, with your Cricut. Use a stamp. Or, like you saw, no lettering at all. I like to add this for some reason <laughs> in the least time effective way but I mean it is fun for me it is satisfying okay bright that looks pretty we do the Mary should have probably done Mary first don't do what I did. Typically the micron dries pretty fast, but I just don't wanna take any chances of smudging it by accident. But anyway, so.
cool. I'm gonna give it some time to dry and uh, I'll just bring in my elements actually in the meantime and start gluing it down. Oh yeah, I forgot, I almost forgot that I need to also do the, uh, chuk -chuk -chuk. the, the string, right? I'm gonna do this part. So, let me glue this down first. Center and do after. Yeah, I mean, I like to eyeball things, but obviously, you want to make sure this is centered. I think it is centered. And then I'm going to just randomly with the with the marker or no the ink pen, sort of draw some randomness here, like so. And you can again skip this stuff too. Kind of like that. Yeah, we'll see. It worked the first time, uh, which was this. I wasn't sure whether it was going to work, but it worked. Uh, let's see if it will work this time. And again, I'm gonna just place them on here first, and then once I like move them around a bit, I'm gonna commit to gluing them down. Yeah, it kind of works, the line, the random lines that I drew that worked. Um, I just wanna like, now create some randomness in the way that these are like in the way that they're facing um, while also keeping that round shape maybe this needs to be like that this needs to be like this this may be a little bit down here Maybe bring this down a bit. And then put this up down here. I think that looks good. Okay, let's do it. So the final, oh, well, actually, no, the final will be just erasing these. But uh, if you haven't done any lettering or if you have already attached them, then this is your final step. Uh, simply gluing down your elements and yeah I mean this card is a labor of love because you have to consider the time that we put in here I don't know how long it's been it's yeah 36 minutes um, and then oops you have to consider the time that I spent um, putting together all the other light bulbs. So I would say it takes definitely an hour, an hour, an hour and a half perhaps, I don't know. It also depends how fast you work. So yeah, it's a labor of love, but you know, it's a labor of love. <laughs> you decide whether it's worth it or who is it worth it for <laughs> and all of that. Okay. And yeah, I know that I have not done a good job at keeping an eye on the chat, but honestly, I uh, am just trying to not uh, talk too much again. Just because it's been a crazy flu season in my household. <sighs> I've been pretty much sick 
the entire time my daughter started kindergarten and um, she went from being like home with me to not being exposed to all of these different lovely germs um, so yeah it's been crazy some of you guys know this already it's been the theme <laughs> for the past few months but uh, we're hanging in there um, yeah, ooh, I like that. That looks good. And yeah, I designed this last year, but I never was, I was never able to like make it. And then this year I was like, you know what? I just have to make it happen. So, awesome. I love how it looks. What do you guys think? Let me erase these pencil traces. And this is definitely one of those cards that can be used as a decor, you know what I mean? A seasonal decor after. Um, I hope I did not make an eraser as much. <sighs> I think I did. What was that? Where did that come from? Oh man, that's okay. Oh, that's true. Also, but the, I did spend a bunch of time <laughs> on the lettering as well. Oh my gosh. But, uh, so yeah, I did make a smudge here. I'm just not even going to try to take it off now. I'll take it off after. But this is the card. Yay. <laughs> I hope you guys like this uh, design. Um, and if you make it, please tag me. I would love to see what you make, what you create. Um... And yeah, thanks for following as always. Thanks for being here and see you on the next one. Happy crafting.